Hello everybody and welcome back to Goluzu. It is the Polish map, I might have pronounced that very badly, but anyway, here we are. We're back after a live stream which was a few days ago. Uh, I don't actually need to have that running at the moment, I've just brought back these seed pallets, so they're going to stay there for now. Uh, I actually do need to put a few more buildings up before we do too much. Uh, we do also have a dog that was requested by some viewers, so yes, he, he does like to still glitch through the wall. It's always been the same way in FS19. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be doing too much glitching at the moment. I guess it's just to prove that he is actually not real. Ah, oh, there he goes. What a lot of fun. So, this has been working for about an hour and a half in real time. As you can see, it's done a lot of work here. Uh, the course play does actually tell you how long it has left. And it was about... I think the total job was about three and a half hours. Uh, which is quite impressive. So when it starts off again, it should give us a calculation of the time. And, yeah, here we go. Any second. One hour and 45 minutes remaining. So that doesn't include turning around. Uh, so I think the whole job is probably about four hours, because, yeah, it, it does add up the amount of time it takes to turn around. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just noticing a tree which looks very dead in the forest. I'm not too sure if that is something which is sort of an incentive to go in there and start chopping. It could be, but we're not going to do that today because I still have to do a little bit more work to the yard. We've got a few Polish buildings to put up from the Polish pack, which was released on ModHub just a few days ago. It's very interesting. It's definitely a dead tree. It's a nice feature. I love how uh, it's not like the creators gone crazy and put like 10 of them in there. You wouldn't tend to have loads and loads of trees die. It looks like there might be two and a few which are completely bare. So, uh, yeah, of course, this isn't the red forest. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, let's head back over to the farm. Uh, I do have another tractor to pick up. It's the torpedo, which is probably blocking the road. Hmm, yes, it is. Uh, so that has finished the lettuce planting. So for those of you who did watch the live stream, uh, you'll know that we did plant the lettuce despite the temperature, the ground temperature being just 3 degrees. Well, a number of days have passed since the live stream. And it, the ground temperature has really warmed up. The air temperature is much warmer, much milder, and change is really happening now. It's not going to be really cold again at all. In fact, let me just show you the um, the weather forecast. You can see we've got some very good temperatures around Saturday, but overall they're, they're really not bad at all. It's all very healthy. So I don't think the germination is going to fail. I'm so interested to see what the germination is going to be like if we lose quite a high percentage of it because I did it when it was so cold still. Like I said before, it was 3 degrees, the ground temperature. It's supposed to be 10 for, for doing the lettuces. So uh, yes, I really was uh, pushing it. It's a good test. Like I said, about 2 or 3 days have passed and currently, currently we have no germination failed. So it is obviously still just seed, it hasn't germinated yet. We're waiting for it to happen, it's going to be very soon, uh, but that's good. The field which we're currently getting drilled over here is, well, I've called it big field, but um, yeah, field number nine, it's working across that way, it's doing a good job, and if we just teleport over there you'll see that it's actually left a fairly good headland, well, one drill's width. Hmm, I seem to be, I seem to be quite trapped in here. There we go. So, because it was crashing into a few obstacles, I just basically made it leave one drill's width. And that's really helped things quite a bit. So, I think in the future, that just that one strip should be planted as grass. It'll make things much easier. So, yeah, that's got quite a job ahead of it. it it's happy, though. It's got an hour and 45 minutes or something to do it in. It's all good. And it's putting in canola. So that's enough of me rabbiting on. Let's get back to the yard here. And let's get some buildings put up. So, like I said, the Polish buildings pack was released on ModHub just a few days ago. Looks very good. The ratings are very good. So I'm really looking forward to this. I just need to move this out of the way first, because that is probably where I'm going to put one of the buildings. I really don't know how many I'm going to put up. It's going to be a few. And the reason why we have a few tree saplings is because in the multiplayer, no sorry, in the live stream, I was going to put some trees in, but actually the map has already got so many trees that it doesn't allow you to do it. It flashes up a message saying, too many trees already. Okay. 
So into the placeable section. I should probably have a browse first of all. These are, well, the gold definitely is part of it. Um, let's just see in sheds. These, these look good. So I like the barn and the outbuilding. I think because they're not they're not huge, we can probably fit both of them in. I'm just a little bit concerned about yeah space behind. Maybe it should just go in the middle. It might look a little bit weird to begin with. Let's just see. So we have a we do have a door on both sides. It would appear. So it sort of is setting itself up for that sort of situation. Sort of debating whether or not to get rid of the silo just over there and move it somewhere else. It might work. Okay, so there we go. I, I've actually managed to put both of them up and I'll show you what I've done to try and blend them in. Uh, it does look very good. I, I really do like that. So yeah, the doors on here open and close. And I quite like the way the latch works as well. It's all animated. Just do a close-up of that. So yeah, very nice. So yeah, I just basically put the uh, gravel around the back of here. This is actually the boundary. I can't do anything beyond here because that's not our field. But if it was, it would be nice easy access into it. As for the other building just over here, again, the, uh, the doors open on both sides, so it's nice and easy to access it. But um, it is um, a bit... It was well, it was restricted space on the uh, on the back here because it was all grass. So I've put a bit more gravel down, put a bit of an edge to it to make it look a bit more worn. And again, we do have the animated uh, latches, so that looks really good. And of course, these are these are Polish buildings, so it's just it couldn't be better for this uh, for this latch play. So I'm going to put those pallets of seed in here because they're currently just outside, which is no good. But that really does make the yard look better. And I think maybe if we had some more over the far side, it would look even better again. So, yeah, I like that. And that is, that is a good step in the right direction. So, yeah, these are all partially filled, which is a bit awkward. This trick actually works much better with a bigger drill. Because you have a much higher capacity. But if you essentially fill the drill up and then unload it, it will put them in new pallets. So... The other drill which we have is a far better example. That one only has a capacity of about 300 litres. But it just, yeah, it, it would do at least if it was a, a thousand litre drill. It would clear up more of the partially filled pallets. But anyway, there we go. That's uh, that's a stack. And that is another stack. So I'm going to go and put them over there. Nice and neatly. Now what I've done is I've actually put them in the side. And it was much easier doing those than it will be doing the pallets here. Uh, so that looks quite neat. Just need to get those pallets in here as well. Then they're in a nice storage area. Okay. So there we go. Everything is in. And it looks good. Nice and neat. And everything is out of the weather. So really good. Nothing else is going to be drilled now until the autumn because this is seasons we're running seasons which is why I was a bit concerned about the germination but yeah there shouldn't be any issues I don't think I, I think as well the weeds are turned off which is probably no bad thing it's because I don't really mind the weeds it's just I do want to focus on other stuff in this series as well okay so that's really cracking on quite well doing a good job now, I don't actually have a plan to have any animals at this stage, but we might be getting some in the future, probably sheep. That's what I tend to get. Uh, so we have this really quite pretty area here with the trees and everything, and it's, it is my land, it's part of the yard, and I just think it'd be good to cut it now because we've got quite a bit of growth on this. It's not bad at all, and well, it's just really going to waste. It's, it's not going to be used for anything if we don't cut it and um, maybe bale it or something. I don't know, but I was thinking maybe conventional bales but it might become a bit of a task but then again maybe using that bale launcher would be quite good fun i have used the bale launcher once before so let's jump into the zeta 7245 just this one here and let's go and find a suitable mower it's not going to be a fast job it's going to be nice and laid back as you would expect from this series most of my fields with the exception of that huge one are not very big 
And yeah, the majority of the series is going to be quite interesting because, well, hopefully all of it is, but the majority definitely will be because we've got the multi fruit. And with the multi fruit, it means we can do some really interesting different things. Just got to wait for it to grow. But yes, it should be very, very interesting. I want to get some more different fruits in as well, different crops in as well. Um, but at the moment, I think. Actually, we do have one more field, don't we? We do have field number eight, possibly. Yeah, we do. In that case, I might put something else in there as well. Anyway, first things first, over to the dealership, to the store. It's uh, one of my personal favourites because it's all branded as class, which I've never actually seen before. And I do like that. It, it just looks good. As you can see, we've got a few weeds in the field. The weeds are now turned off, so they shouldn't have any kind of impact on the crop, hopefully. Let's just hope that the crop does germinate. That's the biggest issue. I had a lot of people saying, especially in the stream, that this felt like a an FS15 Let's Play. And I, I know what you mean. I like it, though. I think it's a very nice map to play on. I don't... I don't fully see the reason why it feels like an FS15 map, but it does, and that's not a bad thing, that is a good thing, because those maps were so good. I, I One of them which I really loved was A Taste of Donegal, that was brilliant, but I don't think that's been released for 17 or 19. The other map which I absolutely loved in 15 was Knave's World Farm, and well actually the creator of that did send me his latest map uh, for 19, I did do a first video on it, but I've not heard anything else since, so I take it at the moment that I won't be able to do a Let's Play. So uh, we'll have to just wait and see. Now I think we're going to have to go for just one mower on this, because uh, I can't really see it being able to power two. But that is going to be probably the better setup anyway. So I'm going to go and have a look on ModHub, see if I can find a really suitable mower for this tractor, and then we'll buy it and we'll start cutting the field. I, I think actually doing the bale launching of the conventional buzz would be great fun. I think that would be a good thing to do. And also, um, most of those will likely be sold. I am very conscious of the fact that we are running seasons though, and I don't think you can get much money, or any money, for certain bales. So there is a solution, and that is to basically Think of a figure that each bale should be worth, and then times that by the amount of bales that we have, and then I add the money in. I can add the money in myself, so it's just essentially like selling it, so it would be uh, one approach. Yeah, the only thing which is actually worth nothing is silage according to this, so nothing for straw, hay, or grass. So really, it's just for our own use, for our own animals. Right, so I did find a few, and one of them which I chose really shouldn't be used, but I just like it so much. It's basically a topper, it's a field topper, and for doing what I want to do, really we should be using a mower conditioner, but I think really this is still going to work fine in farming some of those terms. So let's just buy this, because it just looks good. I very rarely use toppers in farming simulator, and I think it just suits the tractor so much. It's just going to be perfect. It's certainly like a six foot topper, so... I mean, it's not huge, but it's going to still cover the ground quite nicely. Actually, it could be... Yeah, no, I think it's about six feet. It looks like six feet. I've got a four-foot one in real life. And, yeah, I'd say it's about two feet smaller. So, yeah, this should be good. Because I, I looked at the screenshots, and it looked like it was still leaving the grass behind. Probably not in quite as much of a swath as you'd like, but we're going to row it together anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's head back over to the yard, and we'll go and cut the yard, because it is technically the yard. It's the piece of land behind the yard. Anyway, <laughs> let's go and get it done. Well, it's ten to five. Well, we'll get this cut today. I better make sure it doesn't rain. Uh, it shouldn't do. No. no. We've got a good forecast, so we'll cut it today, and then we can deal with it tomorrow. That'd be the best thing to do. Now most of the different crops that we can plant, we do harvest with the combine harvester, so that's going to be nice and easy. Some of the others do require a modified machine. It's not, from, yeah, it's not the right road. I've done that before. Uh, yeah, anyway, they need a, a modified machine. Some of them have a modified potato harvester, which is fine. It works, it's effective. Uh, others, I, I think there might be a few other machines for various different crops, but I think the majority is all done with the combine harvester 
sometimes with a different header so uh, yeah the game just hasn't yet been developed enough to have all these different crop types and personally I think that there really should be a lot more as standard um, I suppose the reason why Giants don't do that much is because they have to make all the different machines to suit it because at the moment if you're doing carrots for example you would likely harvest them with a modified potato harvester which one of the modders has very kindly created whereas if it was done officially they would have to have a carrot harvester which is fantastic it would be so good to have but then every single crop uh, which requires its own machine would have to have that made but yeah I do think that the game definitely lacks crop types it could just do with so many more in each new version like in the previous version in 19 in the latest version sorry we've basically got two more we just got two more crop types we need more this is a farming simulator we need to be able to do loads of different crops so that is my that is that has always been my negative with farming simulator it just does not cover enough crop types otherwise I love it it's a good game very good now I wonder if I should cut that piece there I suppose it depends how desperate I am for grass but really it's just going to be the bit from behind the shed here to over there near the silage pit and eventually we're going to hit a boundary because I don't own all of this so I'm also thinking where it would be difficult to do the wind drone I might do the piece down there but let's just start here for now make sure it works okay well it works it definitely does work obviously it's small it's a very small machine it's a sort of job you just want to do when you've got a bit of time, a bit of free time to get done, which we do have because the tractor is working for us. Yes, I don't think you'd want to see me drilling that massive field with that very small drill. So this to me is the best job for us to be doing. And we get to use different machines as well because I really do want to use that conventional baler with the, uh, the cannon. It's very amusing. I have only used it once. I've only used it on um, Peterville back in July. So it would be nice to have it again. Right, okay, so that is, that is our area roughly marked out. I might go a bit further down this way. I don't want to be in the gravel. Should leave a bit of a boundary, a bit of a border. Uh, there is a little bit of a frame rate drop on this map, That's I think just because of the amount of detail. There, there is so much detail, loads of trees. So much so that it doesn't actually allow me to put more trees in, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, you can see the grass is growing into the gravel, so I don't want to be in there. But that should be fine, I think. Maybe a bit, yeah, we'll go a little bit further down here. If it, oh, it's not letting me cut it. Probably not grown enough. Yes, it only starts here, so whether I like it or not, this is all I can have. But this is all grown, so that's good. This is good. I love this kind of setup. It's just my, my, my type of setup. I just love doing this in real life as well. It's just nice to have some small machinery just to mess around with, just to play with. Sometimes you do need the small machines, though, to get into the smaller areas. It's not always possible to use the big kit, so, yeah, having this is great. Anyway, I will continue here, and I'll see you in a second.
Well, there we go. That is almost all of it done. It looks much bigger now. Much bigger area. So I thought I might as well do the whole lot because otherwise it would just be wasteful. But the thing is, it's going to produce so many conventional bales, it's going to be difficult. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know if you can sell them anywhere. Yeah, I'm sure you used to be able to sell hay bales. I know you, could, you couldn't sell grass bales on seasons, but I thought hay bales used to be worth something. Unless it's the time of year. Could be. I'm not too sure. Anyway. Yeah, I thought you could sell straw bales too, actually. Yes, yeah, so I'm just finishing off here. It has been enjoyable, and actually, you can see by the way it's done this, it has still made a swath, even though, well, I suppose in real life it does, it kind of does make a swath. Not a nice tall swath ready for, for, for baling or anything, but it does spread it out quite nicely. In a swath sort of shape. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Just in the final piece. It looks, in a way, quite um, good looking, I suppose. I love the trees. The spring leaves on the trees always look good. So I'll just finish off here. Just a few small areas to do. And then we'll be done. And then we can check up on the other tractor. And then I'll probably rest today so that we can see what happens before um, the next episode. There is a possibility that these two fields here will germinate. If it's the right conditions, which it should be. If I haven't neglected the seeds too much. And there we go. That is it all finished. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this away now. And then we will do what I just said. We will do some silage at some point. Obviously, I bought these silage pits. So it would be a shame not to use them. But this series is going to be fairly long. And it should have quite a few streams within it as well. The streams are ready for the big jobs. So that we can uh, just keep going with it realize I turned the HUD off for the uh, time lapse. Okay, so there we go. Let's just put that there. Lower it down. And yes, let's just have a cross. It should still be going. It is still going. It's got only 58 minutes left. It's doing a good job. Uh, yes, yeah, so four hour job. It's uh, in its final. It's, it's over 75% of the way, basically. I'm sure that it's from FS09 or something. 11. It could have been recreated, I'm not too sure. It does look like a very high quality model actually, so it probably has been recreated. And yeah, that, that is um, just a case of leaving it still until it is done. Now, finally, we're going to just elapse some time. I'll go over to the field so we can see. I don't think that much will happen, but we'll soon find out. I'd love these fields to start germinating, but it might just still be a bit too early. This one is more likely going to germinate first because it was done first. I think we're going to have to wait another day. thing is, the germination temperature for this field is fine, but the other field is too low. So it probably won't germinate at all until we hit 10 degrees. And that's where we have to stop. Because otherwise we're going to be taking up the time for the next episode and it's a beautiful day. And in fact we have many beautiful days. But this one is going to be exceptional. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.